and a good example. So these these boxes you see up here, these plastic boxes, um, they are. Um, it's a company called Profit Project, and I guess the um, imaging camera imaging technologies come leaps and bounds over the last several several years. And what these things are is it's um, it's. Uh, 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 it's a sensor technology. So what, what these cameras are doing is they're taking pictures of the plants every 15 seconds. And what it does is over time it's measuring temperature and humidity, CO2 levels, what the different light levels are. Um, and eventually what it does is it sees a mat of plants, but eventually what it can do is be able to differentiate every single plant from each, each one in a thing. And as it goes down the trick, it, as it's taking pictures of the plants every 15 seconds, it'll have an entire life cycle record of that plant from the time it was planted in our system to the time that it was, that it was harvested. Uh, eventually over time, this, this logarithmic and this, this technology will be able to differentiate um, what plant, each individual plant and what, when a plant is doing healthily and when a plant is not doing healthily. So if a plant is experiencing heat damage or water stress or something like this, it'll be able to show up in a, in a, in a, in, on a chart and tell me that, okay, plant, uh, plant six in raft 18 in trough seven is having difficulty. You should probably go check that out. Um, so, and it'll be able to differentiate what that problem is and can create action levels. I imagine eventually with this technology too, um, as it gets to the technology expands and be able to have this type of information, eventually it'll be able to tell if a plant is experiencing, say, a um, iron deficiency. And then it'll be set up with a drone and it'll send, tell the drone, okay, go to plant 18 and raft six and trough four and give it a, a, a foliar spray of iron. So that little drone will go out and go, spray that one plant with an iron supplement and then go off and do something else. So instead of adding iron to cover everything, only that plant that actually needs it will be able to, will be able to get, will get that, that actual nutrient. So the idea of, you know, precision, the idea of precision agriculture, I think is really with this type of technology and incorporating is really gonna take off. I mean, the ag sector is one of the biggest growing tech sectors right now. There's a lot of technology that's going into ag. And with this sensor technology, and as Steve was talking about, some of the lighting technology as well, it's really coming coming leaps and bounds. So I think um, you know the next five to seven years, the, the type of ag is really going to be incredible. And you were saying it, it'll do nutrient testing for the water too and stuff. Like yeah, that? so they're yeah they're um, developing nutrient sensors for the water as well. So they they they, they say they're going to get me a potassium sensor. They said they could do it, and they they've had some difficulty sort of getting one that could work properly. So sure. because I said if they had, had any one, would it be? And I, that's for me, that would be the one. Potassium because it's the one thing that there isn't any in our source water, and it's such a macronutrient is so essential with the plants. It's something where I always want to know where it's at. So, uh, sure. yeah. Thank awesome. Thanks. Yeah. Well. Guys, Steve here at Palm Ponics. Here's the uh, like a wireless um, sensor box that Ken was just talking about. A little, bit, a little bit closer. You can see the little camera sensor on the bottom there logic board, basically a little computer. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the other awesome content on the channel and the uh, explanation uh, that Ken gave on how it works.